Welcome to my latest video. This recounts a trip that we took from New Brighton to Rock Ferry by the Widow Way cycle path. With me this day were a couple of the members from the Reluctant Runners, a local group in New Brighton who meet up for daily swims either in the Marine Lake or on the river. We yeah. met down by the Marine Lake in New Brighton, proceeded along the prom on a bright and crisp morning. Little did we know what the weather did turn out later in the day. After proceeding onto the promenade, we passed the tower ground, which used to house New Brighton Tower, which when opened was the tallest building in the country. Unfortunately, during the First World War, the maintenance was neglected and the main tower had to be demolished in 1919. It's all for scrap. <laughs> After picking up a fourth member of the group at Egremont, we proceeded along the prom towards Birkenhead in bright sunshine with glorious views across to the Liverpool skyline. As the name suggests, Rock Ferry used to be a site for one of the Mersey Ferry terminals dating back to the 1700s and was in operation until 1939. In its heyday in the 19th, early 1900s, it used to carry up to 1 million passengers a year. Rock Ferry also used to be a shipbuilding and braking area and in fact Isambard Kingdom Brunel's SS Great Eastern was broken up on the beach in the late 1800s. Lovely but quite noisy isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. After an excellent lunch in the refresher rooms we decided to head back As we passed the Camelades shipbuilding yard, 
some dark clouds started to come across and we felt the first bit of snow descending. Due to the amount of snow that started to fall, we decided to take some shelter in Birkenhead Priory, which is the oldest actual building still standing on the Wirral, and it dates back to 1290. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's lovely, yeah. Uh, have you been up the tower? Have you been up the tower? No. Um, I think you go further back, just down there. Um, is it this tower? Oh, there's another one, isn't there? As you walk up St Mary's Tower, there is a, a memorial dedicated to the crew that was lost on the submarine Thetis on one of its sea trials due to a mishap with the torpedo tubes which resulted in a flooding and yeah. the loss of around 100 souls. Birkenhead Priory is one of the hidden gems <laughs> in Birkenhead and has some of the best views from up St Mary's Tower of the Liverpool waterfront. If you're ever in the area, it is well worth a visit. But it's definitely worth coming back and if we pick a day that upstairs is open as well because that's yeah, really interesting. Uh, between here and, uh, and we'll see the scriptorium actually houses a collection of artifacts and history from the trainer ships HMS Conway and TS Indefatigable, which were moored in the River Mersey and used to train young people from the Liverpool area for life aboard ships. The trainer ships were moved for safekeeping to the Manai Straits during the Second World War. Unfortunately, just after the war, as the ships were being brought back to Liverpool, HMS Conway broke its moorings and was founded on the shore near Bangor. It is, isn't it? After spending far longer than we originally anticipated exploring the abbey, we decided to 
start gingerly making our way back towards Wallasey along the cycle paths. I know. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Because they're not going to get out and grit. Christmas market. Is that just open the weekends? <laughs> yeah. The last mile or so, conditions were quite treacherous and a lot more snow had fallen in New Brighton. The traffic was a bit of a nightmare due to the steep hills around New Brighton. But well, we took it easy and we all got home safely after an excellent day out. <laughs> 